Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my site at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to show you another hack. Um, previously, uh, check out the links below. I have showed you how to hack Protect Worksheet. Uh, there's a slightly different process for Protect Workbook. If you're not familiar with what Protect Workbook is, it says keeps others from making structural changes to your workbook, such as moving, deleting, or adding sheets. So if you look down here below, uh, try and delete this worksheet, I right click on it. Notice I cannot hide it, I cannot unhide it, can't change the tab color. I can't uh, move, rename, delete, or insert any worksheet tabs. So I guess that's good if you're making an application, you have some hidden sheets, you don't want anybody to unhide them and take a look at that data. Uh, you don't want anybody to delete those sheets or this sheet. So um, could be good from a protection standpoint. How you get to that is up under the review tab or the review ribbon. Um, over on the right hand side in the protect area, you have protect sheets and protect workbook. Notice I have that selected and you can give that a password. If you do not remember the password or you want to unprotect the sheet so that uh, you can make edits to it, um, if you were never given the password, how you can hack into that is as follows. I am first, I'm going to uh, close down this sheet because we're going to be editing it. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna open up um, where that file lives in your Microsoft folder structure. Uh, but before we go about modifying this, you may need to turn on this option. Under your view ribbon, you will see there is a choice, file name extensions. So um, you won't be able to edit the .xlsx, which is what we're gonna do without turning on file name extensions. So you first wanna turn that on, then you wanna go select your file, hit F2 to rename it. Um, or there is also a rename button on the ribbon. And I wanna modify XLSX to ZIP. I wanna make this a zip file. All of your Microsoft Excel workbooks are a zip file of HTML uh, coding um, to create your worksheet or workbook. And uh, we're gonna change it back to its root and see all of the files that are related to an XLS or a Microsoft Excel workbook. So I'm gonna click on yes, that I wanna change it. Next, now that we've changed the extension on it, we wanna select the file. We wanna go up in our um, ribbon area. In our ribbons, we will see extract. If we click on extract, there on the far right is an extract all button. If I click on that, you'll get a pop-up window and it says, where do you wanna extract all of these files to? I'm gonna just go ahead and do it in the same workbook that I'm in. I'm sorry, in the same folder that I'm in. So I've now extracted all of the files. It creates a bunch of subfolders. Um, and files, and what we want to do is we want to go into this Excel folder. We want to find the workbook.xml file. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do open with, and I'm going to do, oh, let's do WordPad, Notepad. They're all very similar. Um, they're uh, all uh, going to show your data in a kind of a funky way um, because it's just a big blob of text. So you can see here is the workbook information for this Microsoft Excel workbook. Now, um, I'm gonna go to the very top up here and I'm gonna do Control F to find and I wanna find protection. So you can see I've got the name protect, so that's where its first one is, but there it is, workbook protection. So you'll notice right here, it says workbook protection. It has um, some a hash value. This hash value is that passcode um, put through an algorithm to make it look um, uh, unfindable. So um, <clears throat> instead of trying to hack that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove all of this. So I wanna find where workbook protection starts and where it ends. So it always starts with this uh, greater than or less than symbol. So I wanna find the other side of the symbol from here. So if I can do control F and look for that end or the uh, greater than symbol, that's where it is. So you can see over here, I am gonna highlight this whole section in my WordPad file. I'm gonna hit the delete key and I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. So file, save. And now I'm gonna close this file down. So I'm then going to go back to um, the folder that I extracted all of the information into. I'm going to highlight all of those files that you see there, right click on it, and you will see a choice that says send to compressed zip folder. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to call this one hack excel uh, protect workbook 
uh, version two. So this is the hacked one. Now that I've got a zip folder created um, with all of those files that contain all of my Microsoft Excel uh, data, I can go ahead and rename this file. So I'll go up to rename and I'm going to change it back to the .xlsx. Hit enter. It says, are you sure you want to change it? Yes. And uh, um, so we now have a Microsoft Excel workbook file version two that's been hacked. If I open up this file, you will notice that if I go to my review tab, the workbook is no longer highlighted. If I come down to the right, uh, bottom tab area, I right click, I can unhide folders, I can delete folders, I can do it all. So um, you can see I do have a hidden sheet in here called Picks, um, and we can go open that up and take a look at that ultimate sheet. So hopefully this helps you unprotect your workbook and get those hidden sheets and allow you to modify the structure of your workbook again. Uh, check out the link in below for the protect sheet video. Uh, please be aware this does not unencrypt your file. If your file has been encrypted through either Excel or some other means, uh, you are not able to use this hack. You'll probably have to buy some hacking software. Uh, to modify that hash that we talked about in the Word file. Um, essentially, there's another hash at the workbook or at the file level that uh, you'll have to buy software to crack through that. If anybody has any comments on how to hack a sheet uh, from an encrypted level um, using like, let's say, XML or some other uh, quick hacking technique where you don't have to buy software, uh, please let me know. We'll make sure and do a video about it. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.